Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is an Indesit NX. Never seen one of these before. Uh, XWA71451, 1 to 7 kilo load, 1400 spin. Relatively modern, but could still be maybe 10 years old. We might find out if we have a look at it. This is an autopsy video. Somebody might know how old it is from this code here. Although I might be able to guess as well. Serial number. No, I'm not. I'm not great at that. Merlone, Merloni Indesit. It's got an issue. Big issue. Huge issue. That drum doesn't turn at all. That's the long and the short of it. The other issue is it's got rust bubbling up here. You can see that. But... So there's an area just there that's all bubbly and that's got rust. It's dirty, it's been left outside. I found it on the street, as usual. It was left outside, it's got dirt on it, but that's not a big deal. You could clean it up and that rust wouldn't bother me, but for the fact that the drum doesn't turn. So, around the back, if I hike it along, around the back, there's a few things that we can see. Let's put that, let's put that in there, out of the way. The first thing I noticed was the belt had come off, which is strange. For a seized tub, the belt's kind of irrelevant. But it had, it had come off. I turned it upside down to check that. And then I took this back panel off and I noticed that it's got some chocolate sauce here coming down from here. And I wondered, at the first I wondered, you know, was it a broken spider? But now I suspect it's a seized bearing, which is quite a rare complaint in a machine. So I'm gonna do is take the, take the uh, top screws off and have a look. Here's the panel on the back. Now you might be able to see that better than me. And that might be helpful. 10 amps, 1400 spin. There's a load of codes along the bottom there and somebody will just look at that and know what year it was. I don't. So normally there's a date code on some of the plastics inside. So I'll get the top off and return. Two screws to get the top off. Pull it back, lift it up and we're in. And I can tell straight away the control panel is not here. This is an interface board with a five wire connection down to a control board down below. I think it's a brushed, a brushed motor. Can't tell from there, I need to see the other side of it. From the number of wires, I think it's uh, a universal motor. But let's see up here, there's a code there. I've just made it filthy. It could be 6th of the 6th. 16? I don't know if that's right. There's a code over here. 14. 11th, 14. 15th of November 2014. On that pressure switch. 25th of the 11th, 2014. It's written there as well. 2014 makes it 7 years old. Seven years old. It's not very old. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? The bearings on that are absolutely knackered. So with the belt off anyways, that was what I wanted to ground the back for. I'm going to try and manually twist it off and see if I can free up the bearings. I should have pointed out as well, it's got a sealed tub, which is a pain because it means you can't do the bearings <laughs> if, that's, if that's the issue, which it is. The other thing I noticed straight away, even before I did anything with it, was there's a huge gap here between the rubber and the and the, the metal rim there. And I wondered, is that an issue where something's gone down and gotten stuck underneath? And, and it could well be. But let me just try and get my hands in, grab some of these. Oh, yeah, okay, we're, we're turning a bit there. It's, it's like it's... Uh, going over speed bumps you can't see that but I can feel it you can hear it can you I think I think so that's awful it's just it's just awful so what am I gonna do with this one I think the thing to do is just to take it apart and get the metal drum out of it to sell it as a fire pit and then scrap the rest I'm sure there's parts in it that are valuable to somebody, but uh, not me. It's not my, it's 
not my fun to put them up on eBay or that. So what I might do is just strip it out, cut the cable out of it, get the motor out of it, recycle the rest of it, plastics and whatnot. It's quite modern. I like this style of thing over here where they've put the solenoids straight on here so you don't have hoses. It's a good idea. Ballast here and ballast down below. Stupid old bearings though. It's weird, you don't feel play in them. I don't feel any play in them, or do I? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Can you see that? Down here? It's hard to see. I'll do it from above. It's moving up and down about 10 mil. It's, it's beyond bad. I wonder if I put the belt back on and hot wire it up now, will we be able to see if it spins? Because that's always something fun to do. Let's give that a go. I thought I'd put the belt back on before I start tinkering with the motor. Have a look at this, right? So, it sounds awful. Watch the tracking of the belt. It's on the outermost thing here, but it's already half fallen off on the inside there. It's, it's not even hanging on, so if I do it the other way... It's staying on this time because I've got it right out of the edge on the motor. I've got the motor right out of the edge. But I think the thing has collapsed so far that it's it's just one little nudge away from coming off. So I, oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. So I think even if I even if I hot wire that, it ain't gonna go. It's a it's a shame. But uh, there we are. Worst bearings ever. I can't even give you a demo of how bad they are. That's how bad they are. So I'll make another video after this of uh, stripping this down, taking it apart. I think. Any questions or comments, leave them below. But this is a, you know, crying shame, seven-year-old machine. Presumably it didn't die overnight, but that chocolate sauce down in there, that's taken a while to mature. Seven years is not long enough for an appliance. That That's not right. You know, it's not, it's not good enough, I think. Uh, down here, there's a thing. Let's have a look if I can get it off. I don't know if I can. Anyways, it's a, uh, it's a little, it's that plastic thing there, is here, it means you can connect into this board so you get remote access if you're a service technician or something. Anyways, let's uh, let's take it apart in a separate video. For this one, questions or comments, leave them below. I can't, there's a 7 kilo machine, it can't have been overloaded. Could be overloaded. I don't know, could just be cheap parts on an Indesit. A lot of people don't like Merloni on this channel. If this is what they do, I'm inclined to agree with you. So we knew the bearings were bad, but we didn't know how bad they were. And it's so bad, in fact, that I've never seen the likes of it. I've made another video, in the meantime, of how to smash, how to, I don't know what you call it, how to liberate a washing machine drum fire pit again. Another one like that for this model. But here, as the final bit of this autopsy video, is the shaft. That's the inner bearing race. Can you see that? It should be up here near the brass. It's got a big chunk taken out the side of it. I found a couple of the bearings, but I've got one handy. Like, that's not even spherical. It's got big bits taken out of it too. It's crazy. So I was gonna just have a go at trying to get in here. That's the water seal. Good luck. Good luck with that. And that's the bearing race. That is one of the ZZ metal shields. This is the other metal shield. This is one of the ball cages, one side of it. The other side is fallen down in here. And the last bit that I can see 
Ugh. That's a bit of the ball race. Now I've never seen a ball race. It looks like looks like the inner ball race again. Broken up. I'm gonna try a bit of tappy tap tap to get this, get this fella out. That's the outer ball bearing and it's it's working like a sprag bearing it's completely knackered I've done the dents in it I'd say completely rusty completely knackered the in, the outer race there or the the inner ball bearing outer race looks like it should it's got a groove in it as usual so I wonder is the is the failure mechanism the ball bearings completely failed like look at that can you see you can see that the sides fallen off the race the balls could just escape and rattle around that is a product failure that's not there's the rest of the balls <laughs> here we are wow they're like a, a mad mix of bits that is a product failure Look at those, like they're they're completely shot clean half and two. Bits of race, more bits of race. No, that's, that's rubber, is it? Yeah, that's just rubber. There's the broken off piece of ball race that let the balls escape. The fact that they're not shiny anymore is probably a product of this, but you know, if that had happened and we'd gotten to this stage ourselves, this is a failure of the bearing. That's a machine failure. Now Somebody commented, and I'm sorry I don't know what the name was, machines are meant to last six or seven years in Europe now. And, that, and that's been a rule for a while. That's not the new rule about being repairable and that kind of stuff. So if the issue is with the product, the manufacturer or the, the, the person who sold it to you should give you a replacement, maybe just a replacement part. And so there's all sorts of vagaries about the law there, but it is what it is. If it's broke like this, you got a new machine. While we're here, you can see it best from up here, part of this autopsy. The cheese grater. The cheese grated off a load of grooves on the side there. It also made a big groove all the way around the back there, melting that plastic all the way around the back. At the bottom, and the only place I've seen that before, I think was in an LG or a Samsung with the direct drive motor built on the back where it had worn the whole way through and the water was leaking out over the contacts for the element at the bottom. But I don't think that's happened in this case. What a disaster of a machine. That was some autopsy. I've never seen one go as bad as this. And something so simple, it's a five pound part. Genuinely, like you can buy them on eBay, five quid. But I don't, I don't know if it broke and then fell apart or if it wore out and then broke, you'll never know. I guess the person who had it would know if it got louder and louder and louder and then bang. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. I'm quite pleased with that. That was quite an interesting video. Quite an interesting one to make. Something broke outside. Questions or comments leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.